We're going to move up to the top table and um, unquestionably one of the most popular fighters in Britain right now, David Allen. And I don't know if this is a winder, but your opponent, Sammy Anibo, who has joined us down here, obviously from Germany, doesn't speak great English. You're telling me that you are fluent in German. German. <laughs> <laughs> I speak not. I speak not to translate. No, you changed that. You said you're fluent in German. Yeah, I'm fluent in German. I'll have a go. Okay, so he's going to translate for you, right? So, could you ask Samir? Oh, no, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell what he's saying, but I can't ask him what. I, I, I can try. So basically, you don't speak any German. <laughs> Wait there. Uh, <laughs> Samia, ich bin David. Willkommen zu Newcastle. Thank you. Danke. <laughs> That's about as good as it's going to get. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to ask you a question and you can try and make it. Okay. Samia, uh, looking for a good fight on Saturday. Thank you. Man. Say a few words. Um, in German it's fine because David just can translate the whole thing. Yeah, vielen Dank, dass ich erstmal hier darf äh hier sein können und ähm am Samstag wird natürlich geboxt und ähm ich freue mich auf den Fight. Ja. Thank you. Dave, you said thank you for the opportunity at first and foremost. He wants to thank myself for giving him the opportunity also. He's, he's, he's very excited to fight a fighter like me. Um, <laughs> um, he also said, um, he said lots of things. He said, <laughs> I picked out a few words that I heard Saturday and a few other things and he's, he's really looking forward to Saturday. <laughs> thank you, no, thank you for the Um, I saw you at the workout last night. You're looking very, very, very sharp. Um, I've seen you look sharp before and, and not quite do it in the ring, but I just feel that now with, with the confidence and the momentum of your last win that you, you're looking to put on a, a good performance on Saturday night. Well, hello everyone, first and foremost. I feel, um, I feel like a new man. Not a new fighter, a new man. I'm just very happy. Um, and I've been training for this fight, first and foremost. <laughs> Very hard. Oh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> and we put a good six weeks together. First and foremost, I've been training very hard. I'm very fit. Um, I've been sparring with Simon the Lily, who is he's looking monstrous at the moment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been sparring with lots of hard rounds. I've put a proper shift in, my weight is down. Um, secondly, Samir and Evo. He's a good fighter, but I think he's one that can make me look good. You know, hopefully he comes as a go. Um, thirdly, I'm very happy, and when I'm happy, I'm, I can do, I, I can box moderately well. But if Samir Nibbler comes as a fight, I can fight very well. So hopefully he comes as a go. We have a we have a good fight. He seems like a lovely fellow. We spoke earlier in broken German. <laughs> <laughs> he, seems, he seems a tremendous fellow. I'm really excited. I'm just excited to fight. I'm excited to be here first and foremost. I'm excited to fight. I think I think Newcastle is a great place for fighting. I've said that wherever I was in the country, but I think Newcastle is fantastic. <laughs> I'm really excited to be. I'm really excited to put on a great performance. I think I can really kick on. I think the Nick Webb fight was the fight that's going to really catapult me into doing decent things. Do you feel the pressure of it? Because you could have gone into a much bigger fight yeah. for a lot more money, but you want to take it seriously now. So you made the decision to actually build yourself yeah. and improve in those kind of fights. But in a division, anything can happen. So basically what I'm saying is, you better not mess up on Saturday night. Well, and, you, and that's the pressure. You know, because those, those big fights there, Lucas Brown, Dubois, all the fights that you talk about. I should be retired five times over by now. I've retired five times already and come back. But there's, there's no pressure because I'm, on Saturday, I'm, obviously to me, like, he's is, is, is not, is not a world, he's not a world beater like the Ortiz and the Oaks of the world. So I have got to beat him in one sense, but in another, there's no pressure because I'm just doing what I love. I'm really excited, you can probably tell, just to, just to be out of Doncaster. <laughs> I'm really, just really happy to be here, doing what I enjoy, and I'm in the correct shape to, to, to perform really well, and I will do so, and then we will get the big fights. Good man. Well, looking forward to that 10 rounds in the heavyweight division.